So today we're checking out the character Cross. This comes from the what the hell is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is from the Beyond mod. Now the Beyond mod is very interesting because, I swear I have a funny story about this, they actually emailed me, right, and said, hey, can you play our mod? And I added it to like a bucket list of things I had to do. What is that? That is a spider coin. It was a cobweb coin. Very cool. And I had so many things pop up, but now I'm finally able to get around to it. And thank you very much for messaging me about this mod, by the way. I've been wanting to play it forever. It looked really fun. So Cross, as far as I know, starts with a wooden cross <laughs> uh ow and i just lost it that's okay i believe they start with two soul hearts you can't see it because curse of the unknown but don't worry you just gotta trust me base statistics when it comes to tears and uh range but normal damage and speed but here's where they come out uh, really interesting right if i go in this treasure room and it's something i don't really want which it is as long as i don't manage to get hit by these bulbs what i can do is as you can see my top left item is the disassembler so what I'm firstly going to do is just check if there's a secret room right next to me, no. So it's called the Item Buster, and all you gotta do is go BOOM! And it just blows up! <laughs> it crash, boom, bang! And there's trinkets, and the cool thing about Cross is that he uh, can gulp trinkets. So like this one that's steamy and all hot and ready to go, the Gilded Key. Yoinky doinky, that's mine forever. Now, there's also this green treasure room, which I just, I, I'm gonna be real, I have no idea what this is about. It's a blood bank corpse room. Very interesting. I'm also shooting occasionally a trinket. Like I saw myself shoot a demon's tail right now. You can't hide that from me. What was that, Lost Cork? That was Crystal Key. Uh, I don't know what these do when I shoot, to be honest with you. I I did a little bit of testing. I couldn't figure it out, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Chest and chest. Very cool. Just a bunch of money. So yeah, thanks for the uh, Beyond developers for hitting me up and asking me to play their game. I'm sorry it took forever for me to get around to it. So many things happened, but I am here and I'm ready to stay because this mod is sick. Anything in our shop that's mildly juicy, I don't know what that is. Also, uh, the Beyond mod just adds a bunch of things like this cobweb coin that we saw earlier. Dyslexia. So, wait, I'm sorry, what? Plus six or eight coins. What is it, like a toss-up? You're gonna play like shuffle and then tell me if I'm gonna get it right or wrong? Shuffle's the prices of shops and devil deals. Is it like pound of f You know what, I'm just gonna take voodoo because I know this is good. <laughs> Very beautiful gurglings fight actually. This guy just naturally spawns coins. I just have to admit it. I don't know. That's not supposed to happen. I don't need mom's heals. I will- Oh my lord! <laughs> it's so visceral with the way it just goes Brow. So only the ones that are steaming can you actually gulp yourself, right? Obviously we want Cracked Crown. Wooden Cross is super good and I guess it makes sense because that's literally the name of the character. But I, I don't give up Cracked Crown here. Did it not give me stats? I think Cracked Crown only boosts stats that you've gotten from future items. What is that pill? That's a gulp pill, thank you. They also start with a gulp pill if you saw earlier. I'm sorry, what is the junk shop? This mod is sick, man, what? What is this, junk shop? Oh, wow, okay. So we got twins, this is gonna be both gulped, right? Because I, uh, they, they're steaming. Why Why is the rosary bead like 10% smaller than it usually is? What, what is that? And then what is this? Is this like a reroll for your thing? Oh, it is, look at that. It's like a trade system. 50% chance of adding extra blind item in the treasure rooms. Oh, I see, I see. I exchanged the, the blind rage for an item. Well, if that's the case, um, I'm gonna go for this. Usually I go for uh, the other one, but it's okay. Interesting to see that the exchange also updates. So you, you don't get to do the same deal twice. I'll also take twins here because it does affect you when you have no familiars. It can just spawn a brother Bobby or a sister Maggie. And then what is this? I, it, it costs five cents, so I can't check it out. But if I do get the opportunity, I will come back. What is in this treasure room? I just got to take that to be honest with you. Mysterious liquid is a little bit too hype. Ba-boom. There is a soul heart. Yeah, I'll take it. Usually Min Min's pretty fine of a fight, but base damage, base tier Min Min can actually kind of tag you every so often. I just gotta play a little better. Definitive skill issue. Captain, the source of the damage he took earlier has been found. I hate to admit it, it was actually a skill issue. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop doing the joke right now. Why does this guy keep spawning coins? <laughs> Well, I don't understand. It's like every time I hit a tier, every now and then I just get coins. Is it? Is it whenever I shoot that trinket tier that's kind of weird? Is that what's going on? Oh my god, I'm about to die. That might be it, right? I shoot the trinket tier, it hits, I get rewarded. I'm not using a bomb. I, I refuse here. Phew, that only took seven years. Oh yeah, okay, so let's see this. Do my stats go up higher than they usually do? That is correct. That is how Cracked Crown works. I feel very smart. Oh, wait a second. 
Maybe I should buy placebo here? Wow, that's another two's down pill. Yeah, well, what if I do this and then gulp using the cracked crown for the gulp pill and then disassemble this for more trinkets? Wow, what a play. I don't need child's heart. I still don't know why sometimes half of them are really tiny. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> uh, Endless Nameless is really good here. And then nut -uh is also good for the future, but I'm not gonna gulp it just yet because there's some situations where you don't want it to work. I'm not going to that devil room. You cannot convince me. This one has that. That's cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait a second. All my curse rooms are gonna have golden chests, right? Let's just gulp this now and take the soul of Isaac. Because of Gilded Key, and there's nothing I can do about Gilded Key. It's it's goldified. Oh my lord. There's a potential that I maybe should have given a little bit more thought into what I was doing before I gulped Gilded Key. But I was I'm doing what the character wants me to do. It'll pay off later. You just gotta trust me. I just gotta find like mom's key or something, right? Wormwood fight, I can't express enough how happy I am that you're here and it's not like blub. Wormwood, you're done for. What were you doing, buddy? Oh, yes. Now I spawn Chronolite. Ooh, still good, actually. Uh, do I want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to get this. This will also give us a little bit of HP. Our stats are consistently going up really well because of Cracked Crown. This character is feeling really good to play. It's also worth of note, everything that they've added so far, you know, the junk shop and everything else, cobweb coins, the new uh, rooms that we've seen. There's also just two other characters. Uh, they also have tainted versions, so there's there's actually like six characters. There's a ton of them. I could disassemble this key piece, but I'll take it because it is useful. It gives you extra angel chance, and I believe, I don't know the percentage chance off the top of my head, but I'm going to say that it's a 2.5% better chance for Eternal Hearts. Post edit Matt Man will verify that. That and he'll either pop off because I'm right or look like a bozo. Hello. Ah, broken glasses popped off. I don't want any of these though. If that was mulligan, I'd do it, but just not the case. Roll. And by roll, I mean boom. Safety scissors gulped for the rest of the run is crazy. That's a big play. We don't need the knife piece either, so we can try uh, disassembling that as well. I really like the idea of this disassemble. And honestly, the sprite for it is really cool too. Okay, let's see. Another Wormwood fight. This should be pretty easy. You just spawned on top of me. I made the grand mistake of being over the hole at the beginning of the fight. If I had died, I would say that's entirely my fault. But we're good! Mysterious Liquid just melting this guy's health bar. Oh my lord. Thanks for the eye drops. Ow, don't die. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> what is this? Wow, what is that? That is a new trinket. Also, clots broken. Yoink. Wait, are the t wait a second. Wait a second. The tiny ones are different. Look at that. I gulped the tiny one, but it's it's different. It's like down there. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Also, what what is this? Hocus Pocus gives a random wisp. If the wisp is destroyed, a new one has a 15% chance of being generated upon entering new rooms. This is broken. What? <laughs> That's just an item. And this is another Incubus from Lost Soul. I've just gained two Incubuses. I want to save the soul of Isaac for the chest or dark room or either a big wow judgment play. I was going to say something different, but how about if I don't spawn an angel here and it is a pretty low chance that I get one. Uh, I'll just go secret room and put judgment down. If it's a coin beggar, I'll pay him out and soul of Isaac for fun. I did not get anything. I don't want another HP up. Give me trinkets. Wow. Okay. What is that? Sleeping in a bed gives you a bonus black or soul heart, plus an 8% chance to spawn a bed when during a devil or a curse room. Interesting. Well, that synergizes nicely with the voodoo head I have. You gotta have keys. I don't want to go to planetariums. But, ooh, wait a second. Gulp trinket. Let's uh, gulp. Interesting that, first of all, I gulped both the little clot that was in my mini slot uh, as well as the fact that I can probably gulp this now and then take this with me. Nope, I Endless Nameless is just popping off like crazy. Jesus Christ, what a run. Boom. It's a coin beggar. He's probably gonna pay it on 11 cents. It'd be tragic if he doesn't. There you go. Blue map. I don't need it. Let's just use the Soul of Isaac just because it's a freebie, right? If we don't want whatever it rolls into, we just take a uh, blue map. Tons of trinkets as well. We are stacking up. It's... Oh my goodness, I have to. Endless Nameless is crazy right now. What? It's... Uh, what? <laughs> I've found another soul. Flight would be sick. Wow, this is actually our decision. Oh, if I take Lost Soul, he'll die. So let's do it. I'll try and keep him alive, okay? I swear this time, for real, for real. Definitely not trolling. Take the gulp and wow, I guess we really are going to go planetarium, so. Oh well, it's my fault for getting Gilded Key.
Oh my god, I just- I just died. I- 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 oh, 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 oh. Lost soul, you're so beautiful. Thank you. I- I'll never doubt you ever again. I will always take you 99999% of the time. Scratch that, 100%, or your money back. Imagine I disassembled it just to like, mess with you guys. <laughs> That'd be tragic. Oh, see, now I want to go to the shop. Because I want to- uh, I should go for the guaranteed. Boom, that is a disassemble and a half. What is that? Fragmented Queen. Hello, child's heart. So this gets a fixed 5% chance for a card pill that grants health to spawn as a bonus reward upon clearing a room. Red heart related pills and cards will be filtered for soul heart only characters. Same for the lost pills. Not in the current room may not spawn from this effect. I'm, I'm good. Thank you, though. I guess, you know what? Boom. Okay. Gulp is going crazy. It just won't let me not take anything. I, well, we're taking it all. Character's feeling mighty powerful right now. And that's not just because I got Sacred Heart, I swear. It was feeling powerful already when I managed to find Lost Soul Clot. Uh, Sacred Heart, it kind of helps, I guess. Sensor, hey, how you doing? Soul Heart drop. Now our health is immaculate. We definitely pulled this back from the dead. This is feeling great. We can also find Mega Stan. Should I go to alternate floors? I do want to do this, right? I said earlier I wanted to do it. So we'll do it. Lost Soul got added to the inventory. Spawn Sacred Heart. He'll never see the light of day ever again. I'm keeping him in my basement. This is what Isaac Lore is made of. What the hell? It's another one of those rooms. Alright, what are you? I think these are just like rotten rooms that can have like beggars and stuff. Well, you are useful because blowing you up gives me deal chance, so I appreciate you. All right, whatever this is, I'm mostly going to disassemble it. Disassemble it, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to do more of this because this is fun. Crow heart can be good. Don't I literally already have safety scissors? I do, but I guess you can get multiple of the same one. No, thank you, though. Still sitting at 21% planetarium chance, and if I don't get a deal here, I will 100% take advantage of that sacrifice room. In fact, I might still do it despite already getting a deal, just because the sun card is a full heal. Heretic, how you doing? It's been a while since I fought you. How are you? Uh, how how are the kids? They're fine. How's Cheryl? Cheryl? Oh yeah, I know. Me, I agree. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so we got tears up, which is just big. We need this. Cracked Crown will buff it even more. We don't need to disassemble that. We have Sack Room, so let's uh, abuse that as much as possible and see what we can pull off here. Boom, take that. And then let's heal back up. TP me? Not the case. We got a Soul Heart back, which will give me normal bombs. And then I think that's basically it, right? We don't need other key pieces. There's nothing else we can do. I can't spawn more key pieces and disassemble them, right? Because once you have the full on uh, key piece available, just ready to go to open Mega Satan. Uh, it just, you can't spawn anymore. Steam sale? What? Why are you here? I should have bombed this at the same time, but it's, I don't really care. It's fine, whatever. I, I might just take it. I, I don't know. Like, is it really useful? No. Yes, it is. I have, I, okay, I, it is. I just remembered that I should take it because I don't just have next shop. I actually have not been to this shop yet. It can be useful right now. It was a terrible decision. Actually, it wasn't. Hold on. I'm backtracking again. Thanks for the five bombs. Turn into trinkets. Boom. Spawn one extra bomb for each bomb placed. Does this not mean that I'm going to just spawn a bajillion bombs? Because... <laughs> No, I spawned too. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, what what is it with all the explodey trinkets? Jesus, M20, burnt penny. Is that not absurdly insane? Burnt penny, the trinket that lets you open locked doors with bombs, explode when you get hit, extra bombs, poison bombs. That's insane. What? So once again, we picked up another like mini trinket. I'm assuming it still works kind of a trinket. And it's stored down there on the bottom of my screen. And we learned when we gulp, it actually just gets gulped. Like we can do it. Maybe it's a way for them to, hey, free crawl space, kind of have a what? Thank you. Maybe like a natural mom's uh, purse type of deal. Like they just naturally have mom's purse. They can take the smaller trinkets, which would be cool. Chaos. I, I'll probably just take chaos. I don't know. It makes me want to die, but it, it's going to be funny. Dollhouse. Germa reference. That's Germa. We're going to have to put Germa on the screen. Gives too many trinket slots. Oh, interesting. 10% chance for many trinkets to appear. This seems incredibly good. It's also a fat size down. I will take more options. Uh, I will take Chaos, maybe. Not right now though, because we do have a high chance for the Angel. And I don't really want to ruin my Angel deal. We'll, we'll see. If I don't pick it up, I don't pick it up. Like, I, I cannot back down from a 61.1% Angel chance. That's just a little too powerful. School bag! So is that? 
I am not disassembling you. We have extra options. I just want Blood of the Martyr. That's that's so juicy. One of the most satisfying sprites for me to find, to be honest with you. It's like when you pick it up and you see it, you're like, wow, that is a good item. No other thoughts. I don't think about anything else when I find Blood of the Martyr. I just think, wow, that's good. What about you? Pandora's box will give me just money, I think. Uh, yeah, that's correct. It does give me money. Yeah, let's just pop it. Thank you. Now we can actually open all of these, which means it'll be fat, definitely. Also a Joker, wow. We'll see if I uh, spawn the deal if I don't, I'll use Joker. But if I if I do, I might just take Joker with me. I think I prefer it more than the reverse world. I do like characters that have a way to deal with uh, items that you just can't take. Like that Yuck Heart earlier, you know, we start with an active item. I hate when you're playing a character that has an active item and you just can't do anything with it. You just leave it in the treasure room. It never feels right. So characters that have a way to kind of deal with them and make them feel like you're doing something with the item that's stuck in the treasure room. Thank you very much. Uh, is kind of sick. Wow. Holy moly. Yara as well. There's so many good pickups. All right. How about this? We Joker, we take Yara with us. Forget the reverse fool or uh, world. Sorry. Boom. Angel. I feel... I feel empty. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I was so hopeful. It is two HP ups. I cannot complain. Thank you very much. I do like that we have our uh, our little trinket slot on the bottom there. We can actually see it this time. Uh, let's go up. I love the way- wait, wait, did Chaos do that to my face? That looks sick. I love that. That looks awesome. Yeah, we have a little mini slot on the bottom. So let's see if we can gold that. Oh, I actually kept Lost Soul alive. It gave me a, a, a steaming pile of shit. That's, that's fair considering how I treated you after giving me Sacred Heart. Sorry. Now we're on even terms, so if I make sure you get to the end of the floor on this floor, you'll give me Crown of Light, right? Like, where that's basically how it works. Tick. Tick seems awful. <laughs> Unless it's gulp to uh, Tick, it's just not happening. A lot of people, I noticed, don't know that Tick does something, by the way. They just think it's a troll. You pick it up, oh, you can't pick any more trinkets, uh, haha. No, dude. Tr Tick is actually, like, really good. If it's, like, a last resort, it's actually kind of nasty. It removes 15% HP of all bosses. Like, oh, you just walk into Delirium? Yeah, 15% HP is gone. Like, that's sick. Oh, yeah, definitely you. And it looks like we might have another Lost Soul proc. As long as it doesn't get lasered. Oh my god, he's gonna get lasered. Oh, don't get lasered, Lost Soul. Just, just relax a little. No, Lost Soul! Dude. You gotta, you gotta tag behind me a little closer. Do not get hit by those bullets above and below you, by the way. I will scream at you. Let's go. Crown of Light, Crown of Light, Crown of Light, Crown of Light. I have Chaos, never mind. It's two soul hearts. Those are eternal, actually. Dude, watch Endless Nameless pay out a bajillion times with the era. I really wouldn't even have the... Oh, I'm definitely disassembling this. I wouldn't even have the keys for it. Mom's Pearl, that's a nice gulp. Bloody Penny, Missing Poster, I don't need too much. Boom. Red key? Oh, say less. Thank you very much. Book of the Dead as well. Let's look at where the possibilities could be. Peeper, what are you doing here? I don't need you. I'll, I'll take you though. Thank you. There you go. It's right there. That was actually a really rare ultra secret because that's only adjacent to one red room, but it was pretty obvious. Boom! What is inside of you? Pluto? Uh, probably isn't... Again, I'm struggling for keys here! Do I disassemble it? Do I just take it? I mean, I just want it. I'll take it. Why not? Like, what? Ah, oh, man. I'm thinking about what I do in this situation. I, I feel like it's almost more worth it to dupe, uh... Oh, I'm gonna disassemble this. Uh, keys, honestly. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is he, What are you? Wait a second. Friends in rotten places. Turns all beggars into rotten beggars. Turns all hearts in, uh, on sale for rotten hearts. Okay, cool. Eden's Grace does nothing. <laughs> Incredible trinket. The first player starts the next run with a randomly chosen gulp trinket. Oh, well. It's useless for me, but thank you. There are two gulpable sigil of baphomets? It's a tiny little glow cust right there. Deal breaker makes it so you can pick up all items when having to choose between options. That's just broken. Oh, you know what? I can make a big boy play here. Let's gulp this left hand. And doing this will make it so, right, that the chest actually has red chest. Now, back in the day, when you took the left hand to the chest, it was a complete bozo move and everyone would laugh at you and look at you and be like, haha, you suck. But they actually changed it so that it doesn't just uh, give you red chests that have nothing. It just turns into the dark room, which means you pay hearts for devil deals. Now, hearts is something that I have. Unless Gilded Key overpowers that ability. Oh, no, we're good. Nice. Yara? 
Do I get another one from Endless Lamus? No. A little unlucky, that's okay. Boom. Bang. Bop. Now you gotta remember we have Chaos here, so it's not gonna be the craziest. But that looks kind of crazy. Lucky Charms looking ass, what the hell? A damage multiplier for all the players. Is it like multiplayer? Interesting. All players start the next run again with trinkets in hand, gulped, mini, and or mini slots. Okay. Well, this is like the other one, right? But this actually does something for me because it is a damage multiplier. Like, can I pick you up, then disassemble? Okay, so we learned a few things by doing that, right? You can do the thing that you do with Void where you pick it up and then Void it, but you cannot Void things that are just like still costing money and or hearts. There it is, okay, that, that makes more sense. It was somewhere in that area. Thanks for the screw. There's a reverse stars? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, all I need to do is find secret room with my 48 bombs, right? And then I just break for real, for real. I always say like, oh, you know, it's a misconception to find ultra secret rooms with treasure rooms or like shops and just go to the opposite side of them and you'll find it generally. Uh, don't, but you know, you could just do that. It's, it's not the biggest deal on earth. But if you are really wondering how to find ultra secret rooms, like when I decide to actually take my time and think about it, uh, if it makes sense, it needs to connect to two adjacent red rooms. Like, that makes it more likely. Or if you find a, an adjacent, like, three red rooms adjacent to the Ultra Secret, that's the most likely. So that one that we found just now is actually adjacent to two potential ones. I just, uh, get a little lazy. I, you know, I wonder why. <laughs> Boom! Hello, I don't need you. But what I'm interested in is this. I don't need that. Oh, wait a second, I have Chaos. It doesn't matter if I'm doing reverse stars, huh? I'll just spawn a couple more, because why not? Woohoo! Do I disassemble all of this for fun? This goes past tier cap, I'll take this, but uh, other than that, I'm gonna disassemble. Lucky foot. A key, rib of greed, more just random trinkets just for fun. Very good. I'm also tiny. I am minuscule. I'm smaller than the lost soul. Well, honestly, this is a completely wow. Thanks for the gold pill. A certified awesome character moment. I'm gonna crooked penny everything real quick. I disassembled all of these, right? Yeah, let's, let's crooked penny this, I guess. Oh my goodness me. And then disassemble these. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I just got more stats from a cracked crown. This was the big boy play we were waiting for at the very end. Very thematic and kind of what I wanted to do, right? We're just having fun with the character's mechanics here. A quick blue baby kill will finish us off and then we'll go fight Mega Satan. Uh, what was that card? Excuse me. Thanks for the free one. Thank you. Okay, let's try it. Now, while my tiers look basic, you cannot forget that I have effectively 8 tier rate with 30 damage per tier. That is unnatural, unparalleled Sacred Heart supremacy. Sacred Heart, my beloved, for real, for real. Honestly, this character was genuinely, like, really fun to play, though. I'm actually very happy that they went ahead and emailed me through, like, my business email and just said, Hey, you want to play our mod? Because I... Whoa! Die! <laughs> oh my god, Matt's Kidney Stone! Uh, because this was actually a really fun character. I love trinket based characters and this one was really well executed. How about I don't shoot Mega Satan at, at all other than like Loki's horns until I get a Matt Skinny Stone ready and I just shoot at him like a big time. Boom! Oh my god, melting damage. Unironically melting damage, look at that. And it's over. Do we get a Delirium today? Recently it's been kind of meh. And it's gonna continue to be that way. Well, I actually had a ton of fun. Go check out the Beyond mod, and if you like my videos, make sure to sub, dude. Appreciate you guys a lot. GG.